The Truth About Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga When Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga made their appearance together in the multiple Oscar award-nominated film, A Star Is Born, fans haven't been able to stop commenting on the amount of chemistry that the stars have with each other. Cooper and Gaga have a special bond with each other that started from the first time the actor heard Gaga sing, and ever since, the two have maintained an incredibly close friendship both on and off screen. Ahead of their performance of Shallow at the 91st Annual Academy Awards, here is a look back at Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper's relationship since they met for the first time. Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper briefly met on the set of Saturday Night Live about five years ago according to a 2018 Vogue article, but their first real meeting wouldn't take place until 2016. Gaga and Bradley Cooper met one fateful day in 2016, and their first encounter was almost identical to how Jackson and Ally met in A Star Is Born. Cooper was attending a cancer fundraiser where Gaga was performing, Edith Piaf's La Vie en Rose. It's the same song that Ally sings when Jackson spots her in a drag bar. The Silver Linings Playbook actor told the New York Times, My mind was blown. Gaga remembered that first encounter similarly. She told Stephen Colbert. I sang the night before I met him at an event for Cancer Throne by Sean Parker, and I was singing La Vie in Rose, I was doing a jazz set that evening, she said. Bradley just happened to be in the audience, and I got a phone call that he wanted to meet me the next day, and he came to my house. I was like, Oh my God, what's going on? He came into the home, and I looked into his eyes, and I just felt an instant connection with him. He made me feel so comfortable. The second that I saw him, I was like, have I known you my whole life? It was an instant connection, instant understanding of one another. Bradley Cooper knew that he found the right woman to play ally in his movie. The pair hit it off after Gaga convinced Cooper who also directed A Star Is Born to Sing. She told the Sydney Morning Herald, I dislike it when I'm watching a movie and you can tell their lips syncing. Cooper told Vogue, she said, has anyone ever heard you sing before? And I said no. He went on to recall the moment when he started singing. Lady Gaga gushed oh, my god, Bradley. You have a tremendous voice. She explained he sings from his gut, from the nectar. I knew instantly, this guy could play a rock star. And I don't think there are a lot of people in Hollywood who can. That was the moment I knew this film could be something truly special. At the Venice Film Festival, via Variety, Bradley Cooper shared that within minutes of meeting Lady Gaga at her home, they shared a meal together. What was on the menu? Pasta and meatballs, according to People magazine. Great. Now we're hungry, but moving along. Cooper added, I love to eat, and that was actually a huge bond that we both came from East Coast Italian American families. So we had a real synchronicity on that level from our upbringing. It wasn't just the delicious Italian cuisine that sealed the deal. Cooper also admitted he fell in love with her face and eyes. Oh snap! Gaga had a similar experience, telling Good Morning America, via People that she and Cooper had instant chemistry. They wrapped up the day by having a jam session at Gaga's piano and by making a pact. I believed in her as an actress, and she believed in me as a musician. I wanted there to be a meta aspect to the film, and Stefani gave me that, he told W Magazine. Bradley Cooper has starred in a ton of movies, including American Sniper and The Hangover films, but A Star Is Born was a first for him. He was making his grand debut as a director and was faced with the tasks of showing his peers that he could become a multi-talented entertainer. Being a newbie director, he relied on his intuition when it came time to cast the film's leading lady. It's all instinctual, he said in an interview with E! News. I knew it when I met her. By it, he meant all of the positive attributes that the Joanne Singer possessed. He not only described her as being soulful and deep and open, and warm and caring, but he also added that she proved herself to be an incredible actress. We couldn't agree more, so can they just get married already? This is a rhetorical question, but the answer is no. More on that in a bit. Bradley Cooper could have lip-synced his way through all of the movie's musical performances, 
but he really gave his all in the role of the spiraling out of control character Jackson Maine. It was no easy task, but the actor and director learned how to play guitar, worked with a vocal coach and a piano teacher for a year and a half, and wrote three of the songs, in the movie, according to Vogue. How was he able to mine his musical talents without trepidation? It was all because of Gaga, he told Vogue. She really gave me the confidence. She wasn't just there to give him a pat on the back. Gaga sat with the actor in the studio and answered his questions about what goes on backstage during a big concert, reported the Los Angeles Times. Since Cooper's character battles addiction, Gaga also opened up to him about her own personal struggles and the buffet of drug options that became available to her when she became a superstar. When Bradley Cooper was awarded the American Cinematheque Award in November 2018, Lady Gaga was in attendance, of course. She took the podium alongside a star as born co-star Sam Elliott, and she literally recited an open love letter to Cooper. Okay, not really, but she got so emotional during her speech that she had to fight back tears. Here's how it went down. She credited Cooper for helping her shed the image of Lady Gaga and embrace who she really is, Stefani Germanotta. I ran from Stefani for a long time, she said, for variety. He challenged me to deep dive into a place where I had to see her again. Where I had to be Stefani again. Gaga said she was so grateful that she can call on Cooper as a friend. She added, to cry and be myself, and have you never? ever judge me and still respect me as a professional. Thank you for that. When Lady Gaga first made her presence known on the pop music scene circa 2008, it was her eccentric and wild appearance that captured everyone's attention. However, when Bradley Cooper showed up at her house in 2016 to do a screen test for A Star Is Born, he wasn't impressed by her makeup application. On first sight, he reportedly examined the singer's concealer, mascara, Rouge and immediately told her to take it off, according to the Los Angeles Times. Armed with a makeup wipe, he erased the colors from her forehead down to her chin. A raw and unfiltered co-star is what Cooper desired, and Gaga knew that if she was going to snag the role of Abby, she'd have to completely let go and trust. She told the Times that stripping the makeup from her face helped her get into character. Because when my character talks about how ugly she feels, that was real she said. If you're still unsure about Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga's intense bond up, what if we told you the A-Star is Born co-stars created their own shorthand while filming the movie? It all started when Gaga was having some trouble finding her groove on set. On the first day of shooting, Cooper deviated from the script, and Gaga couldn't keep up with his improvisations. Are you okay? He asked. She promptly burst into tears reported the Los Angeles Times. Her case of the jitters eventually melted away, and they became in sync thanks to a technique they developed. If Cooper wanted her to evoke a feeling of warmth, he'd whisper Tony, knowing that she has a close relationship with singer Tony Bennett, the Times reports. While thinking of Bennett, Gaga would get a certain feeling of love that would then shine through on screen. Other code phrases included ninja and assassin which we suspect helped Gaga morph into a complete badass, not that she needs much help in that department. To close out one of Gaga's Enigma residency performances in Las Vegas, Cooper joined the singer for a live rendition of A Star Is Born's chart-topping hit, Shallow. The video starts at with the co-stars sharing a loving embrace at the beginning of the song. The chemistry between the two stars was almost tangible, Gaga is seen clasping her hands together and kneeling on the ground when Cooper begins to sing. Cooper locked eyes with Gaga multiple times as she began to sing Ally's part and ended their performance sitting with Gaga on her piano bench with his arm wrapped around her waist. To celebrate her success from A Star Is Born, Gaga got a large contour line drawing tattoo of a rose accompanied by the words La Vie en Rose, a nod to the song by Edith Piaf that Gaga sings in the movie when she and Cooper's character, Jackson Maine, meet for the first time. Gaga also got a second tattoo of music notes on her arm that spell out G-A-G-A. -G -A. While the whispers about a budding romance between Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga rage on, it's easy to forget that the actor has been attached to supermodel Irina Shayk since 2015, 
according to page 6. She gave birth to their daughter, Lita St. Jake Cooper, in 2017, reported People. However, page 6 suggested in October 2018 that things aren't so hunky-dory between the couple. After being spotted looking sulky while on a dinner date, a source told the publication, they are miserable together. They have been for months. He doesn't drink and is into spirituality. She wants to go out. The rumor mill went absolutely gaga, pun intended, after the songstress ended her engagement to talent agent Christian Carino in February 2019. It just didn't work out. Relationships sometimes end, a source told People magazine. Yeah, sometimes relationships end when you're in love with someone else.